left, I woke up and found he had packed up and left. I didn't know where he was and I had two babies. When I first started becoming a solo mom, I wish that I knew that it was gonna be okay. Every day is a challenge because so much of your time that the kids required, and then there's almost so much time you can gift them. I'm Marika Lindholm, I'm the founder of ESME, and ESME stands for Empowering Solo Moms Everywhere, and our tagline is Independent Together. You cannot do it alone. I did try to do it alone. Uh, I went to a really dark place. I found that meditation is one way that I can step back from that constant averting of doom feeling. For all those people that think you should just take care of your kid and you actually believe that. You're not just like being a martyr. It's like you really think that's what you need to do, but you really have to take care of yourself. And if you don't, then you really can't take care of your kids very well. Solo moms all have that one common goal, which is doing the best they can for their child. And I know how hard it is because I myself was a solo mom and I wanted to create a community which would provide resources, support and inspiration. I always keep two jobs because I'm thinking like if one job doesn't work out, then I don't have to go months without a paycheck because I'm the only provider in the house. When I first started solo parenting, I was concerned about being able to do everything and I really wanted to be perfect. I have close friends, like close girlfriends, who are married and there are a lot of times we don't get together on the weekends and it's because that's couple time. It hurts. We bring together solo moms from different backgrounds, from different experiences. They can learn so much more and the experience at Esme will be so much richer than what they can get just from their own community. We can laugh together, we can talk, we can give support, we can cry together, we can do whatever we need to do. There are 23 million children being raised by solo moms. And this is a fluid demographic that changes and expands every year. I hope somebody comes to Esme and listens to my story and can relate to it and can see that there are so many resources there that will help them. I'm very proud of my kids and also I'm very proud of myself for the job that I've done with them so far. And I will continue to do what I have to do to make them happy and myself happy. At Esme, we're creating the largest, most comprehensive database of resources for solo moms ever. We know that it's really hard to raise children by yourself. And if we can make it easier for these moms, that feels really important to me. Okay, one more time. One, two, are you practicing? Okay, I'm, wait, that wasn't fair. I don't do my whole practice thing. Okay, okay, are you ready now?